So, if you guys watched the last episode, well, good job, for one. And if you didn't, shame on you. <laughs> shame! 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 shame. <laughs> uh, unless you're a new subscriber, then it's cool. But you could go watch it later. Don't forget. Alright, anyway. The last episode, we went on like a little exploration dive at Finn's. Kind of by Finn's house, right out front. We drove all the way down there and kind of dove back towards his house. And it was awesome. So, we know that if it's awesome during the day, midday, it's going to be awesome at night. So, we're doing the same exact dive. Well, my thoughts on it, when I, when I saw it the first time, I really knew this is a night diving spot. So, during daytime, we didn't see much of a critters. But well, it's a full of life. So, it's a, I believe it's going to be perfect for night diving. So, we're doing it again, same day. And I bet we're gonna find something special because the typography is just like perfect one for the critters to come out at night. Yeah, it's really hard to explain, but there's so many. See, critters come out at night. <laughs> Where, every time we're filming, the bees. They're, they're always good at when we start to film. The bees got you last nice. time. Yeah, it's hard to explain though. There's so many like rocks and stuff where you normally see critters. And they just weren't there as much. We still filmed. I think I think I got three new species. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> but it's just it feels like a really good spot for night. So we're taking kind of a gamble. We think we got the tides figured out, but we really hope it's not a curranty situation because be. it's a nightmare here when there's a current. But yeah, we don't have any name for the dive site. Maybe gonna... I'll call it Chernobyl North. Norte, <laughs> Chernobyl Norte. Yeah, if you guys been watching a while, we named this site Chernobyl. So let's go see if it's good first, and then we'll name it. Let's do it. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm? Critter hunter. Night dives can be creepy. Just look how dark it is. The only where I shot my light. Do you see anything? But this is the best time to find the critters. This lionfish likes to hunt on the reef and snag those little plankton and fish. This green moray eel is doing the same thing. He's hiding in the rocks, just trying to snag a sleeping fish. Fish like to sleep too, you know. And this guy takes advantage. Here's some bright yellow uh, thingies that, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're yellow. And here's a sleeping clownfish. You can see this guy either sleeps with his eyes open or he doesn't have eyelids. I was gonna nudge him awake and ask him what the deal was, but I didn't want to be rude. Then there's this guy who just dances to his own tune in his head. I want to introduce you to Jimmy, or in short, Jim. But his Italian friends call him Jimmy. Jimmy is a little flatworm, and today he's taking a swim. You didn't know flatworms could swim, did you? You thought they'd just slither along on the bottom and be boring. Well, now you know. They use their little skirts to ruffle the water and propel them forward. Or sideways, wh whatever direction they're going. Sometimes they do slither on the floor. Thank you, Jimmy, for demonstrating this intriguing trait of yours, slithering. And he does it similar as when he's swimming. He just ruffles his little skirts and it moves him forward. But I think he probably uses a little less energy to just crawl on the sand. I'll have to ask him next time though, I'm not sure. Now Jimmy is really flat, but right there you can see a long tube. That's his insides. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Jimmy, you need a diet. That, I guess that's where I was going with that. So it's always fun to find Jimmy and his cousins on the seafloor, but check this guy out. This is a marbled shrimp, but he has a green tail. This guy, he told me his name is Christopher, and if you want to shorten it, just, no, don't shorten it. It's, it his name's Christopher is what he wanted me to tell you. Just, just Christopher. Anyways, this guy is a marble shrimp. You guys have seen me film it on other times, but this guy had a green tail. Not even just his tail, like half his body is green. Honestly, I kept looking at the camera like, what the heck is wrong with my camera? Why is he turning green? 
And then I would look with my eyes and he really was green. I was like, what the? It's a green marble shrimp. Anyways, apparently when Christopher was a baby, he used to like to climb in the treehouse with his parents. And now that he's adult, well, every once in a while he gets back to his roots. His neighbor is this orange weird sea slug. And I've seen these guys before, but not in this color. So of course I had to get to know this one. This little guy's name is James, and I'd like to introduce you to... Wow, whoa, he's got some really long horns on the front. He looks like a Brahma bull, and then he's got some big ears that look like Bugs Bunny. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Anyways, it seems to me that this little dude has no real direction to life, and I really wish he would decide on his passions in life and chase those. But apparently all he really cares about is finding food and a girlfriend. Like this. There was another one not 10 feet away and as you can see, it must be a girl because he has smaller horns. Oh my god, those horns just got longer. Okay, now it looks like a girl with long horns. Anyways, meet Stephanie. Now, you might think those things sticking up on top are his eyes. But they're not. Check this out. That is an eye and it's staring right into your soul. Thank you, Stephanie. Well, our guy Jeffy found this little dude and it is tiny. It's also a sea slug and a new one for the nudie project. And it really is awesome. It's definitely a new one, a species we haven't filmed before. And yeah, it's got some weird lines of red going around it. I tried to get to know this little dude, but honestly, his mouth was so tiny, I couldn't hear a word he said. So, yeah, I don't really know much. And then check it out. Stephanie was following me. Apparently, she wasn't done with the paparazzi and wanted more camera time. She crawled through the forest and the jungles just to get her close up again. Come on, Stephanie. Get a job. I want you to meet Jezebel. A Jezebel, I believe, is a trumpet fish or maybe a needlefish. And is really big. This guy, I mean, this girl was about three foot long. And when I turned my light on her, she just didn't get scared and run away. Well, I mean, swim away. Nah, she came closer. She wanted to be friends. She was ultra friendly. I didn't even know what to do. She just kept getting closer and closer to the camera. And I was a little worried what was going on here. I'm like, hey, boundaries, missy. This is not how you make friends. But every time I turned on the camera, she just got closer, closer. And one time she even ran into me. I'm like, dude, I even showed Finn. And he's like, whoa. You guys remember a previous dive we did at Wild Reef where we saw those Dragon Ball Z nudies? Well, we found them again here tonight. And this one was huge. I want you to meet Veronica. Now, Veronica is a good mother and she walks her kids to school every day, rain or shine. She makes the kids hold her hand, well, hold her tail so she doesn't get hit by cars. And overall, she's considered a good mother. Very caring and attentive. As they cross the road, you can see her son Jolly there. And he's hoping that he passes the second grade this time. This guy was on the same road, but, well, he was by himself. See, his mother doesn't hold his hand. Poor little guy. Now, opposed to Ludie Break and sea slugs that like to crawl around day and night, this is Eric, who likes to sleep and not be disturbed by giant men with giant cameras and holding the sun. So, sorry Eric, but I had to show you to the peeps. Meet Big Bertha. Big Bertha is a mantis shrimp, and it's the biggest mantis shrimp that me or Finn have ever seen. This girl is huge. I have no idea how she got the name Big Bertha, but it really was a giant. Now this thing, if it decided to punch my camera, would probably just break it in half. If he decided to punch me in the mask, I would just pray to the fish gods that it didn't punch me a second time. 
Now the hole that Big Bertha is hiding in is about the size of a coffee can. I couldn't believe how enormous this mantis shrimp was. So the thing that you guys should know about Big Bertha is she's one of those lagging old ladies that sits on their porch and judges the neighbors. She just sits there watching everybody walk by, walk up and down the street, yell people to get off her lawn, and then she goes and gossips later at Bingo about what the Joneses were doing last night. I mean, just look at those eyes. Nothing gets by her. She sees it all and hears all. Knows everything that's going on in the neighborhood. Oh, and there's our good mama again. She dropped little Johnny off at school in the second grade. It's only his third time in the second grade, but we feel confident that this is the last time. We think this is the last year and he'll become a third grader. She's walking home now without Johnny and just going back home to do the dishes. If Johnny does good in school today, he's probably gonna get some treats in a movie theater. Now this guy is no Ludie Brank or Sea Slug, he, thank you very much, would like to tell you. It's a little porcelain crab, I believe, and he likes to sit underneath the tube of enemies. This guy was an awesome end to the dive. Uh, something I don't see on every dive, but something I'm always willing to check out. Thanks, little buddy. Thank you.